So instead of playing the modes consecutively up the fretboard and every root note starts on the same string, let's switch it up a little bit. So you would normally see the modes played like this on the bass. And there's nothing wrong with that. But let's switch it up a little bit. Since we're in the key of G major, we can utilize the A string with our root notes as well. So instead of playing the first Ionian mode, then going to the Dorian mode, we can play the mode right underneath the G. So starting on the C, which mode would that be? That would be the Lydian mode. So we just do that all the way up the fretboard. So we have G to C, A to D. So we're basically just playing the modes in fourths. So we have Ionian, Lydian. Next mode, I'm gonna do Dorian. Right underneath that, I have Mixolydian. Starting on the D, the next mode is going to be Phrygian. Then I have Aeolian right underneath that, starting on the E. Then I go up a little bit more and I hit the C Lydian. You may be thinking we play the C Lydian down here, but that's totally fine because it just repeats itself and it comes back up when I'm playing through the scale. That's fine. The next one, right underneath, I'm going to play the Locrian, but it's not right underneath because it's an F sharp instead of an F. So it's really a tritone away. So it's not pretty, it's not a, you know, the pattern doesn't stay the same the whole time. It's that one little pair that you have to worry about, but oh well, don't complain about it. So you have Locrian on the F sharp. Last but not least, starting on the D, you have a Mixolydian. And then right underneath that, guess what? We're home. Or you can think about it in numbers. So you have the one and the four, then you have the two and the five, then you have the three and the six. So you can think about it that way too as well. Instead of memorizing those names, which is always daunting to all musicians trying to memorize those names. So put a number to it if it helps you a lot. Um, as far as dexterity and just kind of learning your fretboard, this will really help you understand where these modes lie, depending on what key you're in. So say for instance, you're in the key of B. You're the key of B major. Now I have to go to the four. I don't have to walk all the way up to the E. I can just boom, right underneath the B, I have my fourth, which is the E. I can start my Lydian scale there. So this will really help with visualization and memorization of the fretboard.